Hey guys, welcome back once again. In this video, I am going to show you how to customize theme of material UI in React. The customizing theme in the sense changing the value of predefined variable like primary, secondary colors and uh, changing the value of breakpoints as well like small and large and many more all right as you can see here i have a login page and in this login page for this both input box and for this one checkbox i have given color as a primary and for the submit button the color as a secondary and these are the default color of material ui so now i want to customize this color based on my value suppose i want to change primary color blue to green and this uh, secondary color something different so how can i do that so let's get us started so first of all let's go to the material ui website and have a look here so you can find link in description of this video so here from the side menu you have to go to the customization okay and from here select this overview in theming okay so here they will basically tell you how to do customize okay guys so before doing this customization let's understand what is the default theme they are using so for that you have to come here to customization and you can see in customization we will have a one tab that is called default theme click on this and come here so you can see here we have this object and here this is the breaks point so if i am opening this break point you can see here key means extra small small middle large and extra large okay so these are the key and what is the value so extra small zero small 600 these are the width has been defined okay so these are the default values now let's have a look on this flats so here we have color primary and this is gonna to be object and this primary color we have here main okay and this is the value of the color okay now this is the same object is gonna to be in secondary as well as you can see here okay so now let us see about the typography okay so here you can see we have h1 if you are opening this one you can see here what is the font family is default value what is the weight font size and line height and letter spacing okay and you can study about this z index as well okay so what are the value they have already provided so what we will do we can change all this value through the material UI component okay so for that what we have to do first we have to come to the our app root of the app we will create a theme and we will wrap our whole component using that thing okay so here as you can see we have this login so what i will do i will break the line and I will write here so theme provider I will import it from the material UI core okay and this is gonna to take a value that is called theme okay uh, as of now let's call it as this value as a custom theme okay custom theme okay now let's cut it and paste here so now 
this login has been wrapped by using this theme provider okay so now we this variable doesn't exist so let's create a folder and that is called custom theme okay inside this let's create a index.js okay and here let's create that variable so export and what we will do const okay and what is the variable name we have given here so custom theme so custom theme okay and we will create this custom theme by using create mui theme material ui theme so create material ui theme okay so i have imported from material ui and now this is a function which is gonna do a take object okay and this object gonna to contains all the information of the default theme okay so suppose i want to change the color so i need to write this value first okay so palette so what i will do i will write here palette and inside this i can write primary okay and this primary have a value that is called main okay and as of now let's give a random value okay now save it and let's import this component here okay so import and we will call it as custom theme from okay so inside component okay and save it so now you can see it's running and let's come to the ui okay so you can see here we are not getting this blue color anymore okay so now it has been replaced by some other color as you can see some kind of black so now we don't want this black we want a green color so let's inspect and get a green color code so from here what we will do we will go to the color of anyone and from here we can select the color what we like okay okay so let's say that i like this color and i want i want to make this color as a primary so what i will do i will come here and i will go to this custom theme and i will paste it here okay and save it and let's come to the ui so you can see here we have this user name in green color and this line as a green color if i click here now it's green okay so now it's time to change the color of secondary so for this one i need to write here secondary okay and this is also gonna to have a value called main so here let's provide this value from here select any one of the color okay so let's select it from here so i want to call this color from here okay so let's copy it and come and paste it here i save it and now you can see here we have this color as a secondary color okay so we have given here primary color some kind of green and this one here we have changed secondary color and you can see here it got reflected 
fall to the application okay so like this only you can change this these many things okay you can change the breakpoint you can change the shape you can change the spacing as well shadow and typography okay so if you want to change typography i will show you so what we will do here we will write comma typography okay and what we will make so inside this we i will write h1 okay and let us see what is the value h1 i've got so let's change here font weight okay so we will change this font weight otherwise let's change font size okay so here let's define this font size as a something different here so 12 pixel okay save it and let's check our application have this h1 or not so i have here h5 so let's copy this h5 and replace this h1 by h5 okay save it and let's come here so you can see here the size of this one sign in has been reduced okay now let me make change here so let me make 20 pixel here so now you can see the size has been increased let me increase more okay so size is got increased okay guys so through this we can change any of the property and we can customize all the theme all right guys so in this video we have seen how to customize theme of material ui so for that we need to create a theme and we need to import theme provider from the material ui and we need to pass our theme okay and before that so don't forget to wrap your parent and main component by using theme provider okay guys you can get download link to this code in description of this video okay so if you find this video is helpful please do like share and subscribe see you in next video thank you for watching